Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the last part of question number four. In this, you have to simplify this expression, and to simplify, you have to use one of these identities. Okay, now let's solve this. If I complete, if I consider this m square as a, and this complete term as b, so this is a minus b whole square, and if I want to expand this, so this can be expanded as a square plus b square minus 2ab. Now let's expand this one. So this is a minus b whole square. So this can be expanded as a square plus b square minus 2ab. Our a is m square. So this is complete square plus b square. Our b is n square m. So this is Complete square, and now at the last minus two into a into b, and our a is m square, and our b is m n square m, and at the last this expression which is two m q n square will remain as it is. Now let's solve this. Okay, now this is m square raised to power two means when the we know that whenever the power are like these. The power gets multiplied, so this will become m raised to the power four. Now similarly, here also, this is n square m raised to the power two. So when I have to solve n, so power gets multiplied, it will become four, and this will become two because the power on m is one. So two into one is two. Now I have to solve this. There is only one constant, so two will remain as it is. Now I have to multiply m. So obviously, like term will be multiplied with like term, and this is m square and n square. We know that whenever the base are same, the power gets added. So m square into m raised to power one will become m cube, and at the last, this will become n square, and this value will remain as it is. Now, if I have, if I, if I want to further solve this, so this and these are like terms. these can be solved so plus minus and these two terms are same so can be cancelled out and the remaining one which is m raised to power 4 plus n4 m square should be the answer for this seventh part so this is how you can solve these questions thank you